Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, streaming live as the announcement in Discord just said, except one thing. Uh, that announcement was for <laughs> for another stream. I got I got to edit that announcement. I got to remember to edit that announcement. Hang on, let me let me take a screen capture here of that so I can be reminded that I I, I got I got to change that. Uh, so I uh, I'm gonna attempt to do something uh, quite dangerous tonight. And uh, that is to begin to set up a regular schedule. Uh, now that we're uh, past uh, work hours, I have the ability to you know, do whatever I do in my normal time, outside of work hours time. And given that I'm starting to stream gameplay uh, just about every Wednesday, starting last Wednesday, and happening again tomorrow, today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday, uh, on Twitch, I thought, well, maybe I should do like a live video on Tuesday evenings, to remind you that on Wednesdays, tomorrow, I'll be uh, live streaming on Twitch uh, for Intel or Intel graphics. Uh, I'll be playing Cuphead again, more than likely. I've still got to, <laughs> I've got to, I've got to master some intricacies, but we'll uh, be playing other games uh, in the in the future uh, that I know of. I'll be playing Cuphead. I've got a few ideas about which games I, I'd like to be playing on Twitch, at least on behalf of Intel. But I figured starting with Cuphead, the anniversary's coming up, it would be a lot of fun. So, what do you think? Tuesday night live streams in the evenings to prepare for tomorrow or Wednesday live streams on Twitch? Uh, I know, it's confusing. I could probably do a better job with that, but usually with repetition, everything uh, is good, theoretically. I have some gadgets and gizmos to unbox. Uh, before I went to work for Intel, I got fitted for these. Uh, well, not, this is a box, right? I didn't get, oh yes, the box fits. Uh, this, I believe, is just a, an accessory holder. Uh, Focals by North. Uh, they are glasses that have, uh, you know, like a heads-up display inside. Uh, and, and I know that they work because I tried them on. I had to get fitted for them. And, and I was supposed to go in for my fine-tuning to make sure everything worked fine and I couldn't get the appointment to go and then they just made it so that I could just try them on at home and try them at home. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I've, I'm going to unbox my Focals by North. I do have to disclose uh, that uh, uh, Focals by North does have Intel Capital as an investor. As I mentioned, I work for Intel, uh, but uh, I've been given clearance to use these, try them on, certainly unbox them. Uh, very grateful that I have an opportunity to do just that. As I said, uh, I'd established the relationship with them before, uh, must have been before March this year. So yeah, I, I've got Focals by North. This is a product that I've kind of been dreaming of my entire life. I know it sounds weird, but I always, if you, if you go back and you watch the thousands of live videos I've done, you may have caught a few times over uh, me mentioning that I always wanted a heads-up display in, in my glasses, like just showing the time or the weather. And even in testing the Focals by North, uh, I realized that the future is here, right here. Hey, Super Awesome Geek Show. Uh, good to see you. And, and thank you, Wesley. I'm always in front of the camera. Maybe every Tuesday evening? Certainly every Wednesday. I'm trying to get regular. It's like fiber for the internet, you know, fiber everyone can get. Uh, am I still interested in going to CES? Uh, possibly. Uh, I've, I've got some gadgets here that I, I don't need to wait to, to go to CES to, to play with, certainly. Uh, your first Chris show in a decade, Kevin Scott? Oh, where have you been, buddy? Uh, okay, let's let's see what we got. Oh, this, by the way, this, was, this is the Focals Sun Clips. So uh, this is something I can clip on over my focals. I dropped it. There we go. So my, my focals, there, there are certain size. I already smudged it. Look at it. I, I look like, uh, yeah, look at it. you can see even more of a reflection there with that. All right, so those aren't the fo uh, the focals by North. Um, I, I've been waiting my entire life for something like this. Clean box, clean bill of health. Uh, my prescription, in case anybody's interested in, in getting my prescription. I, I should probably have opened this ahead of time. I'm just getting uh, the accessories and the note saying, built for you. Uh, and they did. They, they really custom built everything. You could try on uh, various frames, uh, try different um, uh, settings, 
just to make sure that everything is calibrated properly. The only thing that I wish, um, I can tell you before I even put all this on, the accessories, by the way, uh, AC adapter, USB Type-C to Type-A, so forward thinking. Um, the charging case is the case, by the way. You plug it in in the back right there. Um, my dominant eye is my left eye, but the HUD, if they call it that, is in the right. It's going to drive me nuts. I know it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, you've seen Diana wear glasses. Yes, you did, CJ. Uh, that's when we were trying them on. Uh, she shared that before. I think that's that's on her Facebook page. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, this is the ring you have to wear. This is how you effectively uh, control it. They even size you. Oh, it's, it's a little... There we go. I, I, I put it on my pointer. I put it on my ring finger first. The, the pointer has got this little, uh, like a thumb stick right there. Right there. Uh, I'm just ch uh, catching up with chat here. I missed that clock. Ken, buddy. Ken, come on. First of all, it was more than one clock. Second of all, they're right there. Come on. Psh. More things change, the more they stay the same. Okay, hopefully I set it back in virtually the right place. Uh, okay, let's put this on. I've, I've not booted this up. I'm literally un unboxing this for the first time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to to try it on. I can tell you my first impressions were blown away. Um, you know, it was a nice setup. Like I said, I always wanted to have the time in my glasses. I, I'm not a watch wearer, per se. Hey, John, Front Page Tech. Thank you for mentioning me in your, your recycle, what is it, the Recycle Bin podcast? Talking about remembering me unboxing a uh, an iPhone 5. I was more interested in what you had to say about your frustrations with iOS, John. Uh, I put um, the iPad OS on my iPad Pro 11 inch. I guess it's the current gen. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Best iOS experience I've had uh, thus far, which isn't saying much. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna want to adjust the <laughs> the uh, the back part there because they they come straight, right? Because they should be adjusted by uh, an optician. Okay, there we go. Okay, what do you think? Huh? I look even nerdier. Is that even possible? Okay, so we should we should be charged up. I don't know what I'm doing with these. Let me go ahead and hold down a button. Oh, I, I held down a button. Okay, so you can see that little light, that, that white LED right there. I assume it's booting up. You gotta look at they they measure your pupils and everything. You've gotta got you have to be like spot on in order to see anything. This is where um, being uh, calibrated would have uh, come in handy. Actually, let me see here. Do we have instruct? No instructions. I got a white cloth. I may need to download the directions to find out. This is, see, this is the danger of, of, of unboxing um, live without uh, any uh, any support. Well, they're definitely on, and I can see. Oh, there we go. I got I got a boot logo. Sorry, I'm kind of. If I look cross-eyed, it's not that I'm cross-eyed. I'm just trying to get focused. But I saw the North logo pop up, and as soon as I can get. If, if something shows up, I'll hold them up uh, to the webcam so you can see it. Oh, whoa, 6 o'clock, Wednesday, February 4th. That's not right. Okay, let me see if I can show you. It's it's almost straight on. Um, here, hang on. Is it gonna is it gonna show again? Because I want I want it to. This is very awkward. I'm just this grown man staring into a webcam. It showed up. It was like six o'clock, right there. The time. It was close enough. It was right there. It it was floating in front of me. Okay, how, how do I how do I kick it out? How do I how does it turn? How does it work? I don't know, my liege. I pressed the button. Hopefully, I didn't just reboot it. Do I need to pair this the the ring with the? See, there there are no directions. There's no setup guide. You're supposed you are meant to do this with somebody else. That is that that's the truth. This don't blame North for this experience. This is totally me taking matters into my own hands and trying to figure things out on my own. Hey, I got it to boot up, and I did see odd time in there. It's kind of kind of weird. This so you got this little there's the projector right there, just off to the side. There's right now I'm not seeing anything uh, uh, hovering in front of me, but it, I would say it was calibrated accurately in the sense that I didn't have to do much movement to see the to see the time. I'm trying to see if the uh, little thumb stick. I'm sure there's a ring stick, whatever name they use for it. I'd imagine though it would have already been uh, calibrated out of the box, but it booted up. How do, how does it? <laughs> I should I should have looked. 
Oh, wait. There is an Android app for it. And, and an iOS app. Hang on. Okay, so honoring the fact that iOS is, is, is updated here. I haven't signed up for Apple Arcade. Um, I want to. Uh, and I will. And oh, there we go. Focals. Focals. No, that's Focals by North. What's all, what's all this crap? North. Come on. There we go. Focal, focals by North. Got it. Uh, what do you mean? 79.95? Just kidding. No, it's, it's free. Uh, management app. So I'm just, I'm using iOS to show that I still use it. iOS 13 on, or 13.1 on an iPhone 8 plus is cringeworthy. Like you, you, you can actually see, I mean, it doesn't translate on 30 frames per second, but like when I scroll sideways, I can see like just switching between apps. Is like, I'm like, wow, wow, chop, the chop. Are you sure it's not windy? Focals would like to use Bluetooth. Uh, oh yeah, I think I've got, don't I have my, I think I've got my uh, account set up already. Do I need to set this up? This is all part of the magical, the magic of unboxing, uh, or unboxings live, I should say. I've got to get used to a new prescription because here, here's the thing, I switched right around the right around the time I switched to uh, progressives, so now I, <laughs> I'm used to my progressive lenses, and they don't make these with uh, progressive lenses, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here, north, yeah, okay, I did. Okay, give me a moment. I'm gonna log in here and see if I can get it to pair to see if I can show you kind of what I see on my end. And thank you guys and gals for uh, for bearing with. Uh, you just tried Akinator, guess the character to try to see if it would find you, but it couldn't find you. I don't know what that is. Uh, just join randomly, searching you on YouTube. Hey, that's awesome. Okay, are these your focals glass? <laughs> this is not. Me doing this is not a slag against focals. It's just I, I'm now used to uh, my progressives. So I have to hold things further away. See, normal people wouldn't have to do this. Did I pre-order Disney Plus? Heck yeah, I even got the discount. No, nah, this is way better than Google Glass because it's, uh, it's integrated in the, uh, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the lens. It's a prescription lens. Select an accessory. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting it and I'm pairing. That's nice. So now it's connected. Okay, so I just need an app. You don't need instructions. Looking for the loop. Hold it close to focals and click to connect. Did you hear the chirp? See, why didn't I think of downloading it? No one told me to. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Oh, I can see the time, multicolor, and the date. I've always wanted that. Calendar. Focus. Uh, focals use your calendar to help uh, you stay on top of your day. Location and notifications. My glasses would like to send me notifications. Can I, can I really even say glasses? Focals would like to access your motion and fitness activity. Dang. Like it's asking for all the permissions. That's crazy. Oh, it, and it ties in. You can sign in with Amazon uh, to access Amazon Alexa. So you can use Alexa on these. I'm going to skip that for now. Wow. Demo. Can I do a demo? Follow the light. You'll see. You notice some light reflecting off the lens. Slowly bring your eye toward it until you can see the display. Okay. Whoa, dude. Like, when I'm looking down, I don't see anything. And then when I look up, I see it. Okay, now this is where I'm going to try to get closer to see if I can get it spot on so that you can see it here. Oh, it's kind of impossible to do. You're getting the project. See that right there? That's what's reflecting on and in focus. I'm not sure if there's any other way to, to effectively do it. Let me see if I can get it just. You got to get it square on, like square on, it's showing the North logo right now. But what you're seeing in there is, is is effectively what's being beamed up. Oh, wow. Follow the light. Yes. Pick your display mode. Tap into, oh, oh, okay. So which display mode do you want? I can go through this again at some point in the future. It looks odd because you're kind of, you're, you're kind of, uh, click the loop just, to, oh, so I'm seeing... This is what I'm seeing floating in my field of view. This is exactly what I'm seeing. Like, a, like it's just floating out there. It, I mean, it just, it, you want to talk about AR. Like, this is AR. Um, like I said, one of the bigger challenges is that you have to have it, like, spot on for your, um, 
um, well, for your eye, right, to be able to see it. And I'm not sure if it's perfectly calibrated. If I get it, um, if I wear the glasses further down, my, I'm more inclined to like wear them further up. But, and there may be a different way of, of kind of adjusting this after the fact. But if I wear it right there, it's floating out and I'm hearing a boinging in my ears and I can press the button. You got a message, click to open it. So it's kind of taking me through. And, and, and it's almost going blurry off the side. So I, I may have to run a, a calibration on this after the fact. It's pretty wild. I'm just checking the uh, the chat here as it, as it scrolled off. Uh, he is just getting old like the rest of us. Thank you, Michael. Exactly. My opinion of iOS 13, I think I, I made that very clear, abundantly clear. I'm, st I'm still kind of using it. Uh, not my choice, though. I'm, I'm, I'm full Android. Now Android 10 on the Pixel. Can't wait for the Pixel 4. It will be my phone. That's a promise. Um, let's see here. Uh, I wonder if iOS 13 on the latest hardware is any different from that on the oldest hardware that supports it. Yeah, dramatically, for sure. Um, what is this thing, Sysnerd? You're going to have to rewind the live video. It's my... Uh, did, can I call them smart glasses? Can I call them AR glasses? I'm not exactly sure what to cost. Uh, what to cost? What to call this? Someone asked how much it costs, and I think the cost varies. Uh, but to me, it's kind of like bragging rights. Like I can see in by in my eye, I can see things. I can see things floating out in the middle of nowhere. I just want. And I told them, I said, "Do you have a, Do you have something where all I do is just see the time?" That's all I want. I don't want anything like notifications. And you could do all that and Alexa and all that. I just want my time. That's all I want. I want the time. That's it. That's all I'm looking for. Uh, it makes you look crazy because your eyes are really wide. Thank you, Anthony. Maybe I am crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. Uh, so I got it to work. It works. Now all I'd have to do is just kind of tweak it. I'm tweaking right now. Open it. Again, that's the charging case in there. Make it very, very simple, straightforward, and dummy proof, honestly. The fact that I was able to turn it on realized that there wasn't a printed manual and use the app, I figured it out. I could have made that a heck of a lot easier if I had the app pre-installed. Um, and, and it'll even read the phone notification. So if I got a phone notification, it would pop up on my glasses. So as if I'm like doing something, whatever, then, oh, hey, there it is. Um, uh, like I said, these may very well make uh, very nice uh, lenses when I'm traveling. Uh, and, uh, you know, you kind of, you know, not really looking at my phone, uh, and I need to be aware that something's, you know, going on. If I can get it just, you have to like get it spot on. That's the trickiest part with these focals. You have to have it straight on. And the fact that my right eye is not my dominant eye is a challenge. I can tell you that much right now. Like the Steve Urkel of 2019, even better, even better, uh, does make you look cross-eyed because they're, they're, they're kind of large. Well, now compared to my, my other frames right? My progressives. Um, and I'm used to, I'm used to these. I would have preferred these, by the way, be as thick as this, as these, these frames, not as thick necessarily as, as the, uh, um, uh, the, these, the, this particular part of the glass, what are, the arms, the legs, the holding on the ears part. I never, I was never skilled at, at, at naming the parts of the glasses. Um, so I want to wear them further up, but I can't. I, I have you have to look straight on so you have to like get it just you have to get it perfectly aligned it's it I'm not gonna say it's finicky but <laughs> right now it's the best we have uh, did Google Glass release publicly well they went enterprise I am interested in what Apple's doing but I won't touch personally my everything here is my opinion of course I I won't I, I did touch an iPhone Pro Max plus premium supreme. What are they called again? I don't know. I lost track after iPhone. Um, I did try it today. Kind of, kind of choppy. I mean, the, the even the iPad Pro 11 handles things fairly well. Uh, I'll probably be upgrading to the latest iPad when that's released, and then sell this one. Uh, and I do use the iPad just about every day. Uh, but as far as a phone goes, uh, A, no, I'm not going to get the iPhone. B, I'm going to wait until they go notchless and then maybe become interested when it, it's a heck of a lot smoother for me. The Pixel is has been smooth. And by the way, yeah, there is an Android app as well. Okay, I'm getting a notification. 
saying that someone posted an Instagram photo. Okay, cool. Get in. I, I have to turn. I have to turn off notifications. I get a lot of notifications. I get too many of them. Uh, let's see here. Is Intel working on anything AR related? Oh, hey, hang on. I'm playing a game. There's a moose. I, 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 I can play a game in my glasses. I'm not going to do that. It's a little rude, right? You play a game while you're like looking off into space. Um, Intel's working on a lot of stuff. In fact, it just surprises me at how much we're working on. I can't speak to all of it, of course. Uh, but that's one of the things I'm hoping to do with my Intel uh, live streams in the uh, into the future. Not just play games, but interview, uh, do uh, some first looks and beta tests and whatnot. Uh, so, of course, stay tuned for that. Those are on Twitch. When I uploaded the Cuphead gameplay, that was directly from Twitch. Although, since last Wednesday, I moved from Streamlabs OBS over to OBS. And the new version of OBS, at least on the Windows PC, is uh, is capable of handling lag better. So it'll uh, basically lower the bitrate so it's a smoother stream. Uh, and then I can push 60 frames per second as well. So stay tuned for a slightly better um, experience tomorrow on Twitch. If you're following on Twitch or subbing on Twitch, ooh yeah, that's more of a, a dramatic contrast. Looking at looking at it through, um, well these these shades, right? Because it's, it's like dark. Look, it even has a dark mode. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set it over there. It does get warm. It's a computer. Uh, this this is the future. So I am very excited, as I've always said, about mixed reality and, and augmented reality, the getting heads-up disp displays and glasses. Even if it, I mean, people, I, I got nothing against Apple. They produce something that's good. You know, I'll use it. I use the iPad every day. It, iOS 13 is not perfect yet. Even Well, iOS 13.1, iPad OS 13.1, uh, not perfect, definitely buggy, uh, but a better iOS experience, in my estimation, than what they're currently pushing on the iPhone. Um, that's my opinion. Let's see here. Uh, what else do we have? Um, guess you didn't get a razor blade. Joe, you are funny. No, I didn't. I shaved maybe once a week or maybe once every two weeks. Diana is uh, she's saying that she does need to cut my hair, so she will be doing that some at some point. Kiki asks, hey, what do you think of the new Star Wars coming out? Uh, can't wait. I've mentioned this in previous streams recently. The Mandalorian has me very excited and uh, uh, I'm, I'm more, I, I, Disney Plus, of course, all of it. Uh, Resi Star Wars Resistance spins up soon. Can't wait for that. Um, all the live action shows I'm way more excited about than the movies. I know I'm saying, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm way more excited about the live action TV Disney Plus stuff. Because I, I, it's just different, right? I, I Trust me, I'm, I'm excited for The Rise of Skywalker as much as the next nerd. But uh, speaking of nerds and Star Wars, thank you so much, Kiki, for this segue. Oh, no, not a Segway. I don't have actually have a Segway. I don't even have a, a motorized scooter. Uh, I mentioned a couple uh, last week. Uh, the uh, um, uh, the Bradford Exchange sent me the Star Wars lamp. I, I showcased it. And, and they, they, uh, they were very happy with me getting excited over the lamp. Because it's true. I was excited. I mean, we've got this wonderful lamp that you can view from all angles. And it's, it's, it's in the house. I love this stuff. So, um... I took a look at what else they had, and I, I saw this. And uh, Euro here. Hey, Euro Maestro, good to see you. Thank you for following on Periscope or Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer. I don't know if anybody's watching on Mixer right now. I'm broadcasting there, simulcasting across Facebook, Mixer, YouTube, and Periscope. I do Twitch, but they don't like when you do that with uh, um, uh, when you're a partner channel, and I am on Twitch. Perillo Matrix? <laughs> or Matrix? Hang on just a second. I've got I've got an AC adapter. We have AC adapters. That's right. The Bradford Exchange now has collectible AC adapters. Oh, this AC adapter goes to another gadget. I do have a certificate of authenticity. That's how you know it's official. Uh, I I'm I'm excited about this. I'm excited about a few things actually that they sent. I'm not going to show them all today. Going to save some for the weeks in the future. Uh, this jumped out at me. Not physically, because nothing really does that on a web page. Maybe it would if I was using the uh, the North uh, glasses. This is Darth Vader's helmet. But not any old Darth Vader helmet. No, 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 no. This Darth Vader helmet comes with a base. All about the base. About the base. No rebels. All about the base. About the base. No rebels. 
You guys watch that that Nerdist uh, parody? Uh, so this is a magnetic base that when I plug it in, you're going to love this. Again, Bradford Exchange exclusive floating Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> the only thing that I wish this did, and I, I, I even asked, I'm like, Does, is it battery powered? So I can take it with me on, uh, you know, on the go? I suppose I can put an, in well, I do have an inverter in the car. Use that. All right, let me plug it in. I told you guys there'd be gadgets and gizmos. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, do I have any magnetic media around? Hope not. Okay, so now, is it on? Okay, I've got red. <laughs> Must be on. Yeah, okay, that's that's the on switch. Okay, we're going to set the Darth Vader helmet. Oh, yeah, it's definitely on. I don't know if you've ever tried to effectively calibrate. Um, like, they have, like, a, a another company makes, like, a, a floating uh, Death Star speaker that we have. It works kind of similarly to it. And then we kind of pull away this slowly. This part kind of helps keep it balanced. Otherwise, you can't get it to fit properly. Are you seeing it move around? Look, Ma! No wires! Ah! Look at that! Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look, there, there's my thumb in the middle. Look, there's my hand back there. No wires, all magnet, certificate of authenticity. You can get a levitating helmet if you are so inclined. This is my kind of gadget. <laughs> uh, timeless, never needs upgrading, uh, has LEDs, is totally cool, totally geeky. Wow, it's not toppling easily. That's That's a good sign. I was afraid because, like, with the Death Star speaker, it's such a heavy magnet that if you just nudge it, it, like, it, boom, it falls off. But this is, uh, this is floating very well. Very well crafted. Beautiful base. Beautiful design. Of course, even if it's just sitting there, it looks good because it's a Darth Vader helmet. Uh, just what you wanted for Christmas, a floating severed Darth Vader head. Dude, I'm telling you, the next gadget I want to get... Uh, is, uh, and I, like I said, I've got a few more coming from the Bradford Exchange to showcase for you. Um, but the next gadget I really want to get is the Darth Vader Sensi. There's a Sensi, the, the little wax warmer thing. They make a Darth Vader Sensi. They just released it. It's, I, I have to wait until it goes on sale. Uh, but they also have wax packs. And, you know, I, I basically chase, you know, Vader collectibles. So, uh, that's the next one that I, that I really want to get. Isn't that awesome? Oh my God. So cool. It just float. It floats. It floats. Throw her into the pond. The pond. The pond. I think it's funny. I should put on the glasses and hold it up. Vader for a thumbnail. Okay, Liz is going to... Hang on just a second. I want to put my floating head down. Vader, you float there. Liz is going to take a thumbnail, everyone. So everyone... everyone uh, should I take the... I'm going to take the my shades off. Maybe they're easier to take off when I'm actually wearing the lenses. Kind of. There's probably a trick to this. Ooh, that got warm. That's because there's a moose. There's a moose that's still in my on my lenses. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready, Liz? Let's see here. Ooh, wait, let's get this looking just right. How's that look? Okay, Vader. Vader, smile for the camera. Here we go. Ready? We'll get centered. Vader, stop spinning. Stop. Look that way. It, he's he. Stop moving. He, he. See, I knew it. I knew the magnet would go eventually. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Uh, give me a second. I got it now. I got to get the Liz. I don't know if you got anything out of that, but I got. I got to put the base back. I'm all about that base. About that base. No rebels. Nope. Got to get it on just like so. Clamp it down. We got. There we go. Levitate. Can you see? There we go. Is this a YouTube thumbnail? That's what they do, right? Is that is that is that YouTube thumbnail enough? That. Oh, I got an idea. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm just going to put my thumb right there.
Okay, that should have been it. Right there. Uh, okay. Whew. You clicked good content. Of course you did, Scootra. I knew someone was going to watch me on Mixer. Okay, so that is the glasses. The floating head of Darth Vader, which I love. I adore this. Uh, and a good use for the North box. I'm going to rejigger things slightly. Vader, don't fall. Don't fall. <coughs> Uh, I'm going to put you there and let you float to annoy everybody. No, it's not annoying to me, let me tell you. This could be on 24-7. Jedi is going to have so much fun with this. See, this is, I think this is a perfect way of learning about magnets. Magnets, how do they work? Ah! You wait right there? Oh, come on. <laughs> Getting it square on. <laughs> like I said, re having wrestled with one of these before, I know you've got to be, like, spot on. Nope, not yet. I don't know if I even got it now. Okay, I did. Okay. There we go. We got the floating head of Darth Vader there. He will float around your direction in just a moment. If you just give him a second, he will he will look at you. Uh what else do I have? That was those are two gadgets. Two gad two two gadgets. Ah 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 now my office isn't different, Randall Thor. Um, this is just a different angle. Like, it's it's still the same. It's just, like, you can see it different. Oh, no, no, Scootra, you ain't seen nothing. This? No, 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 This is just part of the collection. Hang on, hang on. I gotta be careful, because I got, like, a mess on my desk. I don't want to spoil anything. Like, like, I, 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 the collection goes on and on, dude. Like, this is just, you know, you can't, you, I can't even show you around the corner there. It's crazy. Right now, there's the, uh, there's the Vader I just, uh, the, the real, uh, the real Vader. Uh, the hyper real Vader. I just unboxed the one in the foreground. Sorry, it's like Vader is very dark, so it's kind of uh, tricky to show you. But I don't have like illumination pointed. Illumination pointed this direction. I have a stack of stuff on the on my desk behind me. But anyway, no, you just, you're only seeing like a you know, tiny bit of it. Uh, hey, O'Neill, uh, do I ever watch uh, Rocco Bot's figure updates? No, but I'd love to because I'm totally in those into those type of videos. Uh, I mentioned gadgets and gizmos. The next one that I have to show you is something that's it's going to be perfect, especially um, after uh, being able to test it with a, a non-iPhone, but one that uh, uses uh, wireless charging nonetheless from Accel, A-C-C-E-L-L. -L. Uh, they sent these. This is a 3-in-1 fast wireless charger and that to me is key a fast wireless charger is not always easily accessible usually they charge very slowly uh what's nice about this is if i did have a, an apple watch uh, and and certainly uh, um like what are they are they called ear pods ear whatever they're calling the things there's a another lightning adapter there right here after plugging in by way of USB C, uh you can charge wirelessly and have a full-on dock so clean. I love that. Uh, of course, you know, I don't really use the iPhone all that often, but it, it works. I mean, it, does, it doesn't say only can be an iPhone. You could use that with any, uh, basically, uh, any device that does wireless charging. It just happens, this particular uh, stand happens to be built for uh, those who have, you know, all three of those particular gadgets and just needed a, a quick way of charging all of them. Uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll get pulled back in, but at this point, uh, probably not. Uh, so, they offered to send that. I'm like, yeah, sure, because having a fast wireless charger, you don't need to charge everything to get something out of it. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. If only to let people know that this kind of thing existed. They also sent this. Uh, hello? Yes? Hello? Yeah? Hi? What's going on? No, I, I locked. The gate downstairs is, is closed. All right, honey. I, I got to do the gadgets. The, the, there's no candy here, unfortunately. Sorry, honey. There's there's no candy. Uh, wireless charging pad. Uh, it's basically got everything. Uh, wireless charging, of course. A uh, uh, five watt max. Two standard AC outlets. Uh, Ninety degree adjustable eight foot cord. One USB Type A universal smart IC. 
uh, two USB Type A's and two uh, for uh, Apple devices and Android devices are at least optimized for either one of them. This is going to be nice as well because we'll be able to, to keep this at home central. This one we're definitely going to get some use out of because right now we just have like a, a simple wireless pad, a charging stand or pad, a plate. Um, ooh, that is a this is a this is like an industrial strength cable. Whoa. Yeah, I know it's like thick. Look at that, it's a big cable. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? It's gigantic. That's a great word. Humongous. Try that one. What is that dark there? I don't know. It's he, he's spinning around. Look at it. Come here. Look at this. Okay. Gi can you ginormous? Yeah. Ginormous. Ginormous. Right there. So you can charge it. So, looks nice. Oh. oh yeah. No no. You don't want to touch it. It's a magnet. It's a magnet. Kind of like our our uh, our speakers. Yeah. Or that speaker, the De Death Star speaker that we have. Yeah. In uh, in our bedroom. Oh, hang on. Just watch. We got to get it aligned. Of course, there's probably an easier way of doing this. Look, but... I can see the Star Trader and the Star Trooper. Uh huh. Hi. Uh, okay, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Vader back on. It's okay. Hang on. Oh, I did. I did. I think. No, I didn't. I don't uh, know if I can do this. Okay, there, honey. Look, see. It's yeah. it's it's floating. Yeah. The magnets are effectively keeping it in an e well somewhat of a equilibrium. So Whoa. it's it's going to move around, but it's it's actually being kind of put in position by an invisible force. We can't see the magnet. We can't we can't necessarily see. Uh, so yeah, we got this. It's a nice way to. Oh, I'm sorry. Why am I talking? Why am I? I'm literally talking to a dark crystal figure instead of the, the live stream. I don't know why. I've never done that before in my life. Uh, either way. Um, okay, well, this is the hunter, honey. Hunter. Yeah. Hunter. Yeah, the hunter. Hunter. No, no, no. I pulled off. I, I pulled it out with my... Uh, ooh, ooh. You know what? I don't want to drop um, it. You uh -uh. know what um, happened to my daddy? He... Oh, he scratched his lip. Oh, yeah, I bit my lip the other day. Yeah. yeah so I'm not going to open the Hunter all the way, but when we continue to watch uh, Age of Resistance, then we can, uh, we can of course, play with this. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I, I don't really use Mixer a lot, but that is definitely, yeah, fun. Okay, so, um, maybe I... No, you don't. You don't really want. It. You just let it float. I'm just gonna leave him sit there, though. He's just gonna be magnetized to the base. See that? That was the thing that was basically holding him in place. Uh, no longer though. So, um, I okay. So that was the dark crystal figure, apparently, and the uh, the charging station, the Excel uh, wireless five USB charging station with two AC outlets. Like wow, these swivels and everything. This is great. All the all the ports. I think it's awesome. Uh, that's that's just me, though. Uh, give me a second. I want to check something. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. I wasn't sure. Uh, you, I think everyone knows what I'm doing. Um, okay, I did it. Boom. Uh, yes? Uh, yes, honey, after I'm done. I promise, honey. After I'm done, I'm do I'm do I'm talking to people right now, honey. Okay. Okay. I promise. I pinky promise. All right. Okay. Then we, then we'll go get a free Impossible Burger. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, cause, I want to be in the video. Well, we don't really. Um, thank you for reporting, by the way. Thank you. Those are whoever you you two are. I don't know, Scutra and Vinapris. You two are the right kind of mixer people. You're my kind of people. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. This is, people. yeah, that's this is always a challenge when you're streaming cross platform. Liz says hi. Oh, hi, Liz. Uh, you see, if I'm only doing like a live stream like this once a week, I gotta like throw everything in it. Uh, we also got sent an upside down quack ducky, pack. Ducky, Duckies. Duckies. Ducky. These are not toys. They're not bath toys. Tubbs sent these, and I, I said, yeah, sure. Why don't you send send them along? Where are they? Um, th what is that? This is a heavy base. 
I'm all about that bait. Oh, no way! I didn't see this. Hang on, hang on, honey. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. This this just got ten times more exciting. <laughs> I know. Okay, okay, okay. So, I haven't played Spyro yet. This is one of the games that I definitely want to play on Twitch with Intel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm going to, to get a hold of that. I've never even played Crash Bandicoot. Uh, but Tubbs, yeah, Tubbs, Tubbs, uh, makes these uh, character duckies. Uh, they are not bath toys, though, at least because I was reading on the bottom. like, I wonder, could you, uh, could you play with these in the bath? It says, Choking Hazard, not a bath toy. So they have a variety of fandoms in, in, with these ducks. And so that was kind of neat. But this is why well, I really got excited. I didn't even notice this. Oh, no, no, no. See, you need the Spyro Duck. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Check this out. They made a Chris Perillo Tubbs. Uh, like a, it's like a postcard of sorts. That is so cool. Uh, it's a Chris Perillo. They made, like, did it, who wants a Chris, who wants a, a Chris Perillo Tubbs? Who wants a Chris Perillo? I need one. I've got a Chris Perillo Mighty Mugs. I've got that one over there. Oh, uh, not right now, honey. You can talk to mommy. No corn, Liz. Uh, Chris Perillo. Look at even. It says Chris Perillo right there. And this is not, I was like, what's so heavy in here? Daddy, what is here? Baby, I will tell you soon. I gotta like whack the postcard back into place. Sorry, everybody. Should not be whacking on electronics, but there we go. Uh, so it says on the back, basically. Uh, the official line of highly collectible figurines that look like rubber ducks based on series such as Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, DC Comics, Borderlands Street, Borderlands, Borderlands, Street Fighter, Destiny, Ghostbusters, and more. So uh, you can tag Numbskull Designs and use hashtag cosplaying ducks. Isn't that crazy? This, this is crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> like, this is close as I'm ever going to be to a rubber duck. Look, I'm going to be, I can be a ducky. Who wants, to, who wants a ducky? I'm the only one who wants a me ducky, though. Yeah, you. Ducky. I know a me ducky. That's that's I, just I me. I want a ducky. You want a Jedi ducky? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, maybe soon. Um, uh, with um, with pink hair. Okay, with pink hair. I will make the request. Yeah, it's got. I know they. I know where they took this picture from. There's a picture of me with a green shirt and and a black vest out there. It's just funny. I don't know if I have like a normal like look, but you know that's that. Um, no, that's pretty much. I would say that that's pretty much all the, the, the gadgets that I, that I might have had. The only other thing I wanted to mention, I did mention uh, Resistance earlier, but Target's got the clearance of Resistance figures on, half price. They may go as far as 70% off. Jedi's measuring things back there uh, with the metric system. Going to teach you the metro, metric yeah, system. Yeah, yeah what? Yeah, what? Open, open, open. open who? Open he. Open who? Open she. Wh wh what's her name? You know it. I'm gonna test you. If you remember her name, then I'll open her. Even uh, even if you only remember her first name. Keep thinking. Don't put that in your mouth, though, baby. That's metal. It's not a toy. I can measure you. Careful with that, baby, because you can hurt yourself. And I do not want. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also got her. Half off. Hang on. Two. Careful with the keyboard. I don't want to stop the broadcast. Sonara. Sonara. This is Sonara. That's not. Who is that? Uh, uh, Do I have a big collection? No, I'm not going to tell you. you got to guess. You know who it is. You know who it is. Uh, do I have a big collection tour video? I should. I don't, though. I don't. I, very good. You got it. Toradoza. I knew you'd get it. I knew you'd get it. Uh, Black Series figures. Found these. Again, half off. Uh, Biker Scout and Yoda. Uh, difficult to find out there, so but found it. Target, half off. So Crazy. Po -po -zo -zo -zo. Uh, there are a few older ones po -po -zo -zo. in my, in, the, in the YouTube po -po -zo -zo. channel. Okay, okay, good job, honey. Um, I just haven't done a, an updated one because I've, I've collected a lot. I know I need to. I just, I have, I have it. I have it yet. Um, okay, let me get her out for you. There you go. Toradoza. Uh, who's that? Uh, Come on, he's like the main character of the show. Um, he is, Who is it? Uh, Poe Dameron. Nah, no, it's not Poe Dameron. Poe's in the show, though. He is in the show. 
Um, he likes like Luke Skywalker. Mm, kind of, but not really. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up because I think that's Daddy, all Daddy. I had. Oh, minus this. I forgot the target. I was like the target sales. There's another one. This is also half off. The six pack. Uh, way to get the patrol. Oh, uh, hang on. The uh, the uh, patrol trooper. A great way of getting a Mimbin trooper because those were difficult to find. And then a mud trooper and another tie pilot and a, a storm trooper. No, wait, wait, no, no. You gotta tell me who it is. We're not gonna open it until you tell me who it is. Who is it? So anyway, half off. I waited until they were half off. Who is it? Guess it. You know what? You know who it is. You can't open these figures unless you know who they are. I knew you weren't gonna get Sonara though. Who is this? Uh. Jedi's favorite gadget is whatever is in front of her. Who is it? Uh, okay, I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. Begins with a K. Cat. Not cat. Ka. Uh, cat. Not cat. Ka. Cad. Cad. No. <laughs> Honey, who is it? You know who this is? Cat. You know who this is. I mean, just like you got Toradoza, it came to you like a lightning bolt. We're going to be here all night, because I'm going to stop the stream until you, like, tell me who it is. I know it's torture. Uh, Kaz. 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 There you go. <laughs> What's his last name? Kaz. 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 Z. Kaz. Z. Kaz. Kaz Z O Kaz We haven't you haven't watched in a long time. Kaz Ziono. Kaz Ziono. Yeah, no, you got Kaz. I had I did prompt you good. I was gonna open it anyway. Uh a very tiny Moana. Yeah, she might be. What tiny Moana? Oh that's oh. What? You're a tiny Moana? I don't know. Uh just wanna say I'm sad people don't view your videos like they used to, but I've been here since dropping the iPhone in the store video. I dropped an iPhone in the... Oh, yeah, I did. Well, I took it to the store after it was dropped, and they replaced the screen. That was years and years and years ago. Um, okay, I've I've got a mess to clean up. <laughs> Some Dark Crystal, Star Wars, gadgets. Good. It, it was a good night, I would say. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. I'll try to stream next Wednesday... Or, I'm sorry, next Tuesday evening, right around the same time, 6 p.m. Pacific. So set your notifications, whether you watch on Mixer, uh, Twitch... Or, I'm sorry, Mixer, YouTube... Facebook or Periscope, uh, follow. Follow me on Discord, or we've got a, a public Discord server. I tweeted that out. Join me on Discord. I'll, I'll also post announcements there. And as I mentioned, uh, the Wednesdays uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific, I'm streaming for Intel, uh, or at least on behalf of Intel, uh, and specifically uh, for, give me a second, uh, I gotta click that, um, specifically for Intel graphics. That's at 1 p.m. Pacific, so follow me on Twitch. Uh, I think all my social links are in the profile. You can find me here. You can find me everywhere. Uh, so thank you for, for following across the platforms. I do appreciate it. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> uh, clean up on aisle Perilla for sure. Oscar, it is great to see you. I uh, hope you're doing uh, well. And uh, thank you, everybody, for subscribing, liking, watching, listening, having fun with me, geeking out. <laughs> I, this is the closest I'm ever going to have to a Dougie. Oh, he is? No. I didn't know this. I'm down. I I'm good with that. Anybody else? Everybody good Everybody good with Darth Vader coming to the house? No. Oh, John? Yeah, I saw John earlier, too. Good. A super awesome geek show. You met John a long time ago when we toured. He had a, we posted his tour. Yeah, I do need to do it. You're right. I do need to do an updated tour. Oh, God, it's been so long. Um, I got to clean up, and then I can do a tour, maybe. But but I, now the, the collection's kind of expanded. It's kind of don't eat Toradoza. Uh, have I told you about putting these... Honey, I have to wipe her off. No. Uh, no. Yeah. Do not put her in your mouth. I wanted. You did, Jedi. It's like every other minute. Don't stick it in your mouth. I wanted. If it's not food, don't put it in your mouth. Yeah, Dear Chris, what's it like to live with a five-year-old? Uh, I love you. Uh, I appreciate you. Jedi's going to play with her Star Wars figures. Uh, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the Force be with you always.